Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Simple Living Happy Home. I've been watching a few other YouTubers put out some of their, like, my favorite things videos, and it just kind of got me thinking about the staples in my life that I've been using for months and months, and some of these for years, that have really made things a lot easier or have made things more enjoyable. So I want to share those with you guys. So one category is baby, one is like beauty and uh, fashion a little bit, and then the third category is just general home and a little bit of diet stuff. So starting off with baby things. The only toothpaste that I have been able to get my daughter to brush her teeth with consistently is the Toms of Maine, um, and specifically their Silly Strawberry. She loves this stuff. Um, anytime we mention like it's time to brush teeth, she's super excited because she really loves this toothpaste. Next is her multivitamin. So we actually give her a, this is a multivitamin and mineral. Um, it's from the band, brand Child Life. We got this off of Amazon and we, when she was younger, we struggled a little bit with her getting colds pretty frequently. She does go to daycare, so we were kind of expecting that she would end up having colds and, and that sort of stuff, at least pretty frequently. But it was getting to the point where some of her colds were like tag teaming on top of each other or behind each other. So she would go like weeks with having a runny nose and a cough. And it was very concerning for us. And so we decided to start uh, working on getting her a good multivitamin, multimineral that would help her stay healthy versus trying to treat her illness uh, if she did get a cold or something. So that's when we found this and we started using it with her. Um, this is the natural orange and mango flavor. The um, the list of vitamins and minerals that's in here, I mean, they actually had to put it sideways on the label and it is so small that I'm not even gonna try to make it so that you guys can see it. Um, if you're interested in what's in here, I will uh, have a link to all of this stuff, um, at least everything that has a link online. Um, I'll put that in the description box below. But this we got off of Amazon. It's a set of three of these bottles. How much they are, I don't remember. But since we've been giving this stuff to her consistently, she has not had a single cold. I think in the last probably three to six months, there has been maybe one day where she had a little bit of a runny nose, but that was it. And the dosing on this for um, six to 12 months is one teaspoon daily for uh, children one to three years is one to two teaspoons daily. And we give her two small teaspoons is really what we do. Um, but this stuff, and she actually, it's, it's very sour. Um, so she's just kind of like, oh, okay, swallow it quick. And then she'll drink some water afterwards. Um, but she really doesn't mind taking it at all. So that is, this has been a major lifesaver. And uh, I actually told my husband when we pulled the last bottle out of the cupboard that we had, I told him, I was like, okay, buy another set of three bottles because this clearly is doing the trick for her to keep her healthy. Next is our Spray Pal. I got this off of Amazon as well. Um, for those of you who do cloth diapering, um, you might be familiar with the Spray Pals. Basically, you have the little clip here at the top that you put the cloth diaper in, and then you put this down into the toilet. It's about yay long. Um, you put that down into the toilet, and then we have a toilet sprayer, which actually is kind of in combination with this as far as like our must-haves on a daily basis. Um, but we put that down into the toilet, use the toilet sprayer, spray off her poopy diapers right into the toilet, and Bob's your uncle, we have a diaper that's just ready to go right into the laundry. Um, since we started using cloth diapers with her since she was about five or six months old, and I didn't get the spray shield until we had been living here, which was last year. So we probably went about nine months of doing cloth diapering without having the spray shield. And I will say from a cleaning aspect, this has been a huge, huge lifesaver because it minimizes any of the spray that can happen, whether it's water or other things. Um, that come off as we're spraying off her diapers. 
Um, this keeps it all contained so it's not going all over the toilet and all over the floor. It just makes um, cleaning the bathrooms afterwards so much easier and so much less labor intensive. Along with the spray pal, and I would also include then the uh, toilet sprayer, um, another one of our must-haves is our cloth diapers. This is actually one that my mother-in-law made. Uh, we were very, very blessed for having a, I am very blessed, I should say, for having a mother-in-law who not only is willing to take on some challenges and some new endeavors, but is willing to, but also has the requisite knowledge to be able to sew very well. So she actually made, I would say about two thirds to three quarters of the cloth diapers that we have. I have bought other cloth diapers off of Amazon. The Elva Baby is usually the one that I go with um, as far as uh, quality, to price ratio. Um, and then my best friend also bought us um, a set of four cloth diapers from Grovia, which are high, high quality diapers. And, and those are also quite nice. Um, but the majority of our diapers are either the ones my mother-in-law made or the Alva Baby. And I cannot say enough. I have actually two whole videos on cloth, cloth diapers. Um, so you can go check those out. But I would I could easily say that doing cloth diapers is probably one of the best decisions that we have made in regards to our daughter. Uh, next baby item, and probably some of your parents have this as well, but it's the Leapfrog Letter Bus. I'm going to call it that. I'm not exactly sure what they call it, but it's the Leapfrog Letter Bus. She's got the letter O in here right now. So it comes with this, um, and this actually is a magnet, so it sticks to the fridge. And then all of the letters are also magnetized, so they pop right in there. And then I don't have this on right now, but she pushes the letter and then it plays a song corresponding to this letter. Um, this apparently also comes, it has the capital letters, but you can also get a version of it with lowercase letters as well, which I didn't know. This was actually a gift from one of my brothers and his wife for our daughter. And she loves this thing. Um, there's a little music button down here where it will play the wheels on the bus or the ABC song. She does that. She hits that button more, I think, than she uses the letters. But now that we're working through the uh, lowercase letters and their corresponding sounds, she's getting more interested in the individual letters because she's starting to understand that um, individual letters have sounds and then those sounds get combined into words. So but this has been this has been a big help in keeping her interested in letters, but also keeping her occupied when we're in the kitchen. Uh, because then she can stand there and kind of dance around and be goofy and do whatever, but she's not in the middle of the kitchen where she's underfoot. Okay, the last kiddo thing that I have is this one. Um, this is by Crafty Kit. Um, it is Organized Fun for Little Monsters. And basically it comes with, this is, uh, I believe it was 20 different crafts. Um, four different types of crafts organized by color. And so there's, um, there's like the collage ones where it comes with a bunch of different colored tissue paper. There's the paper bag crafts. Um, there's the paper plate crafts. And then there's the tube crafts. This also came with its own glue stick and tape. And then also a set of googly eyes for each one of the critters that you make um, if it calls for it. So uh, this has been a huge, huge hit with my daughter. She has loved these. Um, anytime, you know, we aren't really doing anything or we have a few minutes, um, she immediately runs over to the cabinet where I keep all of like her craft and, um, you know, coloring stuff. And she pulls the door open and, you know, this, this pointing to the box of crafts and she wants to do one. So, um, there are things in here, depending on the age of your kiddo, um, like she's not even two years old yet. This says three plus down here. Um, so she's not even two years old yet. So as far as using the glue, I put the glue on and then she sticks it onto the craft. Um, there was a, uh, a turtle paper plate craft that called for putting glue on and then squares of tissue paper. And so I put the glue on and then she put the squares of tissue paper all over it. Um, so you know, it's just a great way for us to do a craft together. And it comes with like all the individual pieces, um, like the face of the fox and then the belly and whatnot. Those are like perforated into a sheet and then you have to punch them out. So that is kind of like her job. When we start a craft, it's her job to take all those pieces out. Um, and then I start working on gluing things together. So 
um, and then she gets to play with it afterwards. So, but this has been a lot of fun. She's really enjoyed this. Uh, this was a purchase off of Amazon and it was not expensive. I want to say this was like 10 or $13, but I'll, um, I'll put a, a link to it below from Amazon so you guys can find it. All right. Now we're going to switch gears a little bit to more of like mommy, beauty, personal care, fashion stuff. So more of like specific things to me, really. Um, and the first one I have is the best um, lip treatment I have found. This is First Aid Beauty's Ultra Repair Intensive Lip Balm. This stuff is amazing. I don't know if you can see it there. Ooh, there we go. There we go. This stuff is amazing. We live in like cold, dry, northern Midwest where it's not uncommon to see 40 below zero on the thermometer in the winter. And so my lips, especially in the winter, get dry, they crack, they bleed, they hurt. Um, they did, I should say. Uh, and then I found this stuff and it has been an absolute godsend. Um, this stuff, all I have to do is use it um, once a day in the winter. I'll use it twice a day in the, or once a day in the summer. And then I'll use it twice a day in the winter and my lips, I have no issues. Um, barely have any issues with chapped lips, much less cracking, peeling, bleeding, all that kind of stuff. So this is awesome stuff. My everyday moisturizer. This is, uh, again, I get this from Ulta. This is the Purity um, Made Simple Moisturizer. It's a very light moisturizer, which is what I prefer in the summertime. I don't need anything super heavy. I actually use this pretty much year round, but in the winter time, I do break out my um, First Aid Beauty more intense uh, deep cream moisturizer. But for the most part, this serves me well year round. I want to say this is, again, like my third or fourth bottle of this stuff that I've been using this for several years. And it's just, it's very light. It absorbs in well. Um, it doesn't leave my skin feeling greasy. And it also hydrates it really well. All right. This stuff I gained a love for when I was pregnant. This is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula uh, Massage Lotion. It says it's for stretch marks, but I use this mainly on my hands. Um, I work in healthcare and I'm using hand sanitizer a lot. I'm washing my hands a lot. And this stuff really helps to keep my skin well hydrated. I usually put this on um, if I've spent a long day, whether it's at work using a lot of hand sanitizer and stuff, or if I've been home and I've been cleaning a lot and have my hands in water, um, again, my hands, my skin gets really dry really easily. And so this stuff just, it's like a deep moisturizer. I put it on and I can just feel my skin relaxing and my hands feeling better. Um, it doesn't leave my hands feeling greasy. It absorbs in really well, but heavy because I've got my work computer in it, but uh, it is my Michael Kors tote. This, I don't know if I'll be able to find a link for because this was a gift to me from my husband's late grandmother. Um, this is probably one of my most prized possessions, partially from the fact that it was a gift from her and it's the perfect size for my work computer and everything else that I would need to carry while I'm at work. I just, I love the color. I'm not much of a gold girl, but it works so beautifully on this bag, prize possessions. This thing goes with me everywhere. I'm carrying, you know, I'm bringing it to work. When I'm going between my facilities, I am bringing it with me and carrying it all over the place. Um, just, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Okay, the last two things that I have, I do not have with me, um, but I will put pictures. Um, so the first is Waxers. I just discovered these. I actually bought these originally off of Amazon for a hiking trip that my husband and I are going to be taking next month. And I put them on and I wanted to get used to wearing them because they're very different from the underwear that I typically wear. But oh my goodness, these things are so soft. They are so comfortable. I, with what I do, I am, you know, I'm standing, I'm sitting, I'm squatting, I'm, you know, sitting on the floor, I'm, you know, lunging, I'm, you know, very physically active and physically mobile during my work day. And so, I've never run into a pair of underwear that didn't give me a wedgie, but the Waxers don't. They're a woman's boxer. 
So they have, I can't remember, it's either a three or a four inch inseam. So they actually go down part of the way, part of the way uh, down my thigh. They are so comfortable. They are so relaxing. Um, yeah, it's just like, I, I don't even have to think about it anymore. It's just wonderful. The other thing that I have is that I reach for every single day is my Beta brand yoga pant dress pants. These are the only pants that I wear to work. These are the only pants that I will wear to work because they are so comfortable. They are so, um, they're so easy to wear. They're just as stretchy and you can be just as active and flexible and mobile in them as you can in a pair of yoga pants, but they look like dress pants. The other really cool thing about Beta Brand is they really like to keep their pants interesting. Six years, I have been wearing nothing but these Beta Brand pants, um, no other types of pants to work, just these Beta Brand pants. And I am just, it, they're so comfortable. They're so comfortable. If you are working in a profession where you need to be mobile, where you need to be able to change positions frequently, like if you're a physical therapist or occupational therapist or whatever, I mean, nursing, doctor, these look amazing on you and they are so comfortable, so comfortable. I love them. I love them. I am not sponsored by them. I'm not partnered with them. I would love to be because I love these pants, but you know what? I'm just going to sing their praises from afar. Okay. Third and final category is going to be home and nutrition has been my Clorox toilet wand, uh, toilet bowl cleaner. These are awesome. Um, I refuse to go back to cleaning toilets with the old brush method. Um, these are so convenient, um, especially with having a little kiddo running around and exploring into cupboards and things. It's really nice to not have to worry about her getting into like a toilet bowl cleaner bottle um, or getting a hold of that in any way, having this, you know, kind of tucked back where she can't get at it by the toilet. Um, and then not actually having the liquids where she could get it on her skin and have all those issues. Um, these are super convenient. Um, and I don't think I've ever been able to get my husband to clean the toilet more as, uh, since we've gotten these and it's just literally like the sim most basic, simple way to clean your toilet. Um, uh, a few other cleaning things. Um, I absolutely love my O Cedar Spin Mop. I got turned on to these by Catherine from Do It On A Dime. So if you haven't seen her channel, go check her out. Um, she has some really cool stuff, but she was the one who I first saw using the O Cedar Spin Mop. She actually talked about it in a few different videos and I had been looking for a good solution for cleaning our floors because I had been using the Swiffer um, pads but like the original ones, but they always seem to dry out before I actually had the floor really done, like the whole floor done and just looking for a, a better option. So I decided to invest into the O Cedar Spin Mop, which they aren't very expensive, by the way, I got mine off Amazon and have been using it for the last couple of years and love it. It's, it's so easy. Um, you can get extra mop heads for it, um, that are not, they don't have to be the O Cedar brand. They can be an off brand. Um, especially now in this house where we have so much more floor, um, hardwood floor that needs to be mopped. It makes it so much easier. The shark vacuum. I'm going to try to find a link to the one we have, but I may just have to take a picture of it and put it up here. Um, our shark vacuum was a wedding gift to us and we have been married for almost seven years now and our shark vacuum is still going strong. It is wonderful. The one downside I will say now that we live in a house with several levels to it, um, it is heavy and carrying it upstairs, although they have the carrying handle in a convenient place, it is still heavy and we're still having to lug it upstairs and lug it back downstairs where we keep it in the cleaning closet. And then cleaning the basement stairs and the basement is a bit of a pain in the neck with it as well. Um, but as far as what it is able to do with cleaning, it is fantastic. It has three different settings on it for either um, hard floors, thin carpets or thick carpets um, as far as the level of suction and if it has the, the brush going and stuff. Um, I love it. I, I am so glad I put it on my registry. That was actually another gift 
um, that my husband's grandmother, late grandmother, bought for us uh, before we got married. So kind of home item. And then I'm going to switch and talk about a little bit, a few nutrition things. Um, the White Barn Three Wick Candles. Uh, these are from Bath and Body Works. This is the Sun Washed Citrus. Um, we love these candles. Any time um, Bath and Body Works is doing a sale on these candles. My husband and I usually like budget to go stock up on these scents. These candles are just, they're really, really good. The throw on the candles is really awesome. It will permeate um, a really decent sized space in a not very long period of time. Um, and, you know, I really do like that on the bottom of them, they also kind of list the fragrance notes. Now, my husband and I are big fans of uh, sandalwood and bergamot. Um, this one doesn't have either of those. This is one's a little bit more of a fruity, um, sweet smelling candle, but we prefer more of kind of the, the musky smells. Um, so there's uh, peppered suede is one that we have down in our downstairs bathroom. Love that scent. Love it. Love it. So, but these candles are awesome. The last three things are nutrition. I heard about this stuff from another YouTuber, Darwin on the Trail. That was his YouTube channel. Um, Darwin on the Trail. Uh, he, these can actually come in like little, like individual serving pouches. And so he would actually take these with him when he would go out on the trail and mix them in, mix it into his coffee to get some uh, fiber and uh, greens into his diet when he was out hiking. Since obviously if you're doing through hikes and things, uh, carrying fresh fruits and vegetables is not realistic. So I decided to try some of the, some of the stuff. And this is actually the second container, second or third container. I think it's actually the third, um, of this stuff. Uh, I bought the berry flavor originally. And when I've had, uh, smoothies for breakfast in the morning, I'll usually put a scoop of that stuff. And then my protein powder, which I'll talk about that next. Um, in and it's it's got a really good flavor. The berry one actually really does taste like berry. It tastes and smells like berry, but it's got I mean, the list is pretty incredible. So um, I originally got this stuff off Amazon. My husband also found it at our lo local grocery store. So you can uh, follow the link to the Amazon and take a look at what their ingredient list is. But it's it's pretty good stuff. Um, no sugar added, six grams of fiber, vegan. This is the unflavored version. So I'm hoping to be able to try to use this and mix it into like pancakes to also get uh, more veggies that way and get more veggies into our kiddo. Second to last one, moke. Um, this is probably the best protein powder that um, we have been able to find. When I was in college, I used and ate a lot of the now foods uh, whey protein powder, isolate whey, um, in the Dutch chocolate. And I'm not kidding. I ate a lot of it. Um, I would usually get like a 10 pound bag of it. It would last me a while, but I would use it all. Uh, my husband, on the other hand, cannot stand whey protein. It makes him gag. He can't do it. So this, um, although a very expensive, uh, protein powder in the world of protein powders, um, but this is the only protein powder that my husband has really been able to find that he in, not only can stomach, but he actually enjoys. So this is the peanut butter. Um, there we have the chocolate. Um, my husband is working through the banana right now. Um, we have the strawberry downstairs as well. And I think that's probably one of the coolest things about this stuff is, um, aside from the guy behind it, because uh, Jocko can't remember if that's his first name or his last name, um, but he was Navy SEAL, I think. Um, he has a podcast now and he's got a few like offshoot company things that he's been doing, um, but he's the guy who designed this stuff and um, it truly does taste like what the flavors are. So the chocolate, I mean, chocolate's pretty easy. The chocolate tastes like chocolate, um, but the banana actually tastes like real bananas not the fake banana flavor that you get in a lot of candy, but it actually tastes like bananas. Um, I haven't had the strawberry by itself yet to be able to say if that truly tastes like strawberries or not. 
Um, but this is really good protein. It's really good for you. Um, it's from uh, grass-fed beef. Um, 22 grams of protein infused with probiotics and digestive enzymes. Um, no soy or gluten. 18 different amino acids per serving. So um, this is, it's really good stuff. Protein blend, peanut flour, cocoa powder, xanthan gum, and monk fruit extract. That's it. Those are the ingredients. One, two, three, four, five ingredients. Um, so it's a very clean protein powder. It doesn't have a lot of preservatives and chemicals. Um, it tastes really good. Like I said, it is expensive, but they also uh, run sales pretty frequently. And that's when we've kind of taken the opportunity to stock up on. So kind of want to try throwing some of this, uh, one of the flavors in with our pancake mix to make some protein pancakes. So, I mean, we're getting all the healthy stuff. Thing that I don't know how I didn't realize before, this is something that I newly discovered in the last couple of weeks, is how good Lara bars are. Um, they don't have a ton of protein, but they are extremely clean, no preservatives, very basic ingredients. They're very open about what's in their bars. Um, they're made in my home state. Um, they are, they are, and they taste really good, really good. Uh, we got the, I believe, chocolate chip cookie and the cherry pie first. And the chocolate chip cookie, I mean, it's just what you would expect. It tastes like a chocolate chip cookie. It's good. But the cherry pie, oh my gosh, it literally tasted like I took a bite of a cherry pie. It was crazy how much it tasted just like a cherry pie. It was weird. Um, and then my husband also just bought um, an apple pie. And I am not a fan of cinnamon. I usually, like if there is cinnamon in something, I just won't put it in because I do not like cinnamon. Um, so he's like, I bought him. If you don't like them, I'll eat them, but I wanted to try it. It's like, okay. So I tried it and there was a hint of cinnamon, but it wasn't overpowering. You, it was much more, um, much more strong on the side of the apple and a little bit of a tart apple, which I prefer. I've looked at them multiple times. I've thought about getting them, um, when I was doing way more like health food, you know, uh, exercising, weightlifting, clean eating, um, kind of stuff. I've looked at them, but because they never had a ton of protein in them, I always kind of shied away from them. Um, now they're just, they're good. They're going to be a good, nice, clean source of energy for us when we're out on the trail. When I think of like what has made my life either easier, more enjoyable, things that I look forward to, um, you know, just kind of the staples of, you know, my daily life day to day and week to week. These 20 things are really the stuff that I, I look to um, like I said, on a pretty regular basis. So um, all the links that I can find for everything will be in the description box below. So if you guys are interested in anything, you can go ahead and follow those links. Um, I am not affiliated with any of these brands. I just really like them. I hope everybody has a wonderful evening. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on anything to come. And I'll see you soon.